Hello, welcome to the video lecture on Boolean Algebra. Boolean Algebra can be used to simplify the design of logic circuits. Boolean Algebra is a mathematical technique that provides the ability to algebraically simplify logical expressions. Let us consider a logical expression. This expression is diagrammatically expressed using logic gates. So it requires 7 logic gates. So the same expression when simplified using Boolean Algebra, it results in only fewer gates. It results only in 2 gates. So the simplified expression will result in a logic circuit that is equivalent to the original circuit. So the number of gates can be reduced by using Boolean Algebra. Mathematician George Boole invented a new kind of algebra. The algebra of logic in the year 1854, popularly known as Boolean algebra or switching algebra. A Boolean function is an algebraic expression formed using binary constants, binary variables and basic logical operations. Basic logical operations include AND, OR and NOT. Boolean algebra is a convenient and a systematic method of expressing and analyzing the operations of digital circuits and systems. Logical operations can be expressed and minimized mathematically using the rules, laws and theorems of Boolean algebra. Let us now see various Boolean theorems in detail. So using AND function, x dot 0 is 0. So this is logical multiplication. So x can assume any value 0 or 1. So 0 multiplied with 0. Logical multiplication 0 dot 0 is 0. So 1 dot 0 is also equal to 0. So any variable which is logically multiplied with 0 will result in 0. The same way x dot 1 equal to x. So here again x can assume two values 0 or 1. 0 dot 1 is 0. 1 dot 1 is 1. So any variable which is logically multiplied with 1 will result in the same variable. x dot x equal to x. So 0 dot 0 is 0. 1 dot 1 is same as 1. x dot x bar equal to 0. 0 multiplied with 1 is equal to 0. 1 logically multiplied with 0 will result in 0. So when any variable is multiplied by its complement, it will result in 0. The same set of theorems for or operation. x plus 0 equal to x. Here logical addition. So x can assume two values 0 or 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So any variable when it is logically added with 0, it will result in the same variable x plus 1 equal to 1. Here again x can assume two values 0 or 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. So when any variable which is logically added with 1, that will result in 1. x plus x equal to x. So 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. So x plus x bar equal to 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So when any variable is logically added with its complement, that will be equal to 1. So, principle of duality. From the above laws and theorems, the set of rules can be paired into two groups. This forms pair A and this forms pair B. So, one expression can be obtained from the other in each pair just by replacing 0 with 1 or 1 with 0. And every plus is replaced with dot or every dot is replaced with plus. As you can see, so we can obtain one expression from the other. So here if we consider x dot 0 equal to 0, this expression can be obtained from this. Just replace dot with plus. Replace 0 with 1. So x plus 1 is equal to 1. So here again x dot 1 equal to x. So here we are going to replace dot with plus. 1 should be replaced with 0. So which is equal to x. So one set of expression can be obtained from the other side. The same with this expression. This, we can obtain this expression from this. So replace plus with dot. That will result in this expression. So one expression, one uh, expression in one pair can be obtained from the expression in the other pair just by following these rules. Dot should be replaced with plus and zero should be replaced with one. And this property is called principle of duality. In these expressions, these pair of expression is called dual expression. So next theorem, x double bar equal to x. So I put an inverter here. So giving x as an input that will result in x bar. Again, putting a NOT gate here, that will be equal to x double bar, which is same as x. So, if I complement 0, I will get 1. If I complement this, again, I will get 0, which is same as x. Similarly, 1 is complemented, that will give 0. If the 0 is complemented again, that will result in 1, which is same as x. 
Next, we will consider a simple example to minimize this expression using Boolean algebra. A, A, B plus C, C bar B. So, applying this theorem, A dot A is same as A. So, A, B plus C dot C bar is equal to 0. 0 dot with any variable is equal to 0. And A, B plus 0 will be equal to A, B. We will consider one more example. We will simplify this expression using Boolean theorem. B, B, C bar plus B, C bar, C bar plus A bar, B1 plus A, B bar, 0. So, B dot B is same as B. Again, C bar dot C bar is same as C bar. So, again, B, C bar plus B, C bar. These two are same. So, that is equal to B, C bar plus A bar, B into 1. That is equal to A bar, B. A, B bar into 0, which is equal to 0. Any variable which is logically added with 0, it is equal to A bar, B. So, B C bar plus A bar B. That is a simplified expression using Boolean algebra. Commutative theorem. Commutative law. So, commutative law for addition. Boolean addition is commutative. Boolean multiplication is also commutative. The order of the AND operation conducted on a variable makes no difference. The same way. The order of the OR operation conducted on a variable makes no difference. X dot Y is same as Y dot X. X plus Y is same as Y plus X. That is called commutative property. Next, associative property. The associative law for multiplication is given by X dot Y Z is equal to X Y dot Z. It makes no difference in what order the variables are grouped during the AND operation of several variables. The same result holds for OR operation. Logical multiplication. X plus Y plus Z is same as X plus Y plus Z. Distributive property. Boolean multiplication is distributive over Boolean addition. According to this property, the OR operation of several variables and then the AND operation of the result with a single variable is equivalent to the AND operation of a single variable with each of the several variables and then the OR operation of the product. So, X dot Y plus Z is equal to X dot Y plus X Z. So, same way, X plus Y dot W plus Z is equal to X W plus X Z plus Y W plus Y Z. Again, distributive property, A plus B C is equal to A plus B into A plus C. The Boolean addition is distributed over Boolean multiplication. So, A plus B dot A plus C can be, you can multiply A dot A, plus a dot c plus b dot a plus b dot c. So, a dot a is same as a. a plus a c. Using absorption theorem, a plus a c is equal to a. a plus a b plus b c. Here again, using absorption theorem, a plus a b equal to a. So, which is equal to a plus b c. Next, we will consider a simple example to simplify the Boolean expression using Boolean algebra. r bar t plus r plus s bar dot r bar plus t. So, R bar T plus, now multiplying this R inside, we get R R bar plus R T plus S bar R bar plus S bar T. So, R into R bar is equal to 0. So, now R bar T plus R T plus S bar R bar plus S bar T. Now, taking T in common from the first, second and last term, we get R bar plus R plus S bar plus S bar R bar. Now, R plus R bar equal to 1. 1 plus any function is equal to 1. So, which is equal to T plus S bar R bar. Next, absorption theorem. X plus X bar Y is same as X plus Y. X plus X bar Y bar equal to X plus Y bar. X bar plus X Y is same as X bar plus Y. X bar plus X Y bar is same as X bar plus Y bar. You see the proof of absorption law. A plus A B is same as A. Now, taking A in common, so we will get 1 plus B. 1 plus B is same as 1. So, A dot 1 is equal to 1. Next, A plus A bar B equal to A plus B. So, A can be expanded as A plus AB. Because A plus AB is same as A using absorption theorem. So, now taking B in common from the second and third term, we get A plus A bar. A plus A bar is 1. So, which is equal to A plus B. Consensus law. A, B plus A bar C plus B, C equal to A, B plus A bar C. So, A, B plus A bar C 
BC can be represented as 1 dot BC. So, replacing 1 with A plus A bar. Since A plus A bar is 1, so now multiplying this term inside, we get A BC plus A bar BC. Now combining first and third term, AB plus ABC, grouping second and fourth term, A bar C plus A bar C B. Taking AB in common, we get 1 plus C. Here taking A bar C in common, we get 1 plus B. So 1 plus C is same as 1. 1 plus B is same as 1. So it is equal to AB plus A bar C. That is Constance's theorem. Next is De Morgan's theorem or De Morgan's law. Two theorems that are an important part of Boolean algebra was proposed by De Morgan. The first theorem states that the complement of a sum is equal to the product of the complements. The second theorem states that the complement of a product is equal to the sum of the complements. x plus y the whole bar equal to x bar dot y bar. x dot y the whole bar equal to x bar plus y bar. This can be proved from the two table. x and y assumes four different combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So x dot y multiplying these two. x plus y adding these two expressions x bar taking complement of x, y bar taking complement of y. So x plus y the whole bar, so taking complement of this one. So here we have 0, triple 1. So here we will have 1, triple 0. x bar dot y bar, now multiplying these two. So now from the two table, it is proved that x plus y the whole bar is equal to x bar dot y bar. The so same x dot y the whole bar. Now taking complement of this term, we get this. x bar plus y bar, adding these two. Logical addition will result in this. So from the proof table, the De Morgan's theorem is proved. In general, De Morgan's theorem can be stated as x1 plus x2. You can have n number of x terms when complemented. That will be x1 bar dot x2 bar plus x3 bar and it extend up to xn bar. The same rule for logical and function. So, in general, the complement of a Boolean function may be simplified by following two steps. The first step is to replace plus with dot. Wherever we have plus, that should be replaced with dot. Or wherever we have dot, that should be replaced with plus symbol. Complement each of the terms or variables in a given expression. So, we are going to complement each and every term. So, that is how we can get a complement of a function using Boolean theorem. So, now let us see how to simplify this expression using Boolean algebra. Ps plus Pq bar S bar plus Pqs. So, taking P in common from the first two terms, we get S plus Q bar S bar. Using absorption law, it will be equal to x plus q bar. Now multiplying p inside. ps plus pq bar plus pqs. So from the, this term, taking ps in common from the first and third term. ps in common, we will have 1 plus q. 1 plus q is same as 1. So it is equal to ps plus pq bar. Next we will see how to simplify this expression using Boolean theorem. a bar bc plus ab bar c plus abc bar plus abc. So now taking bc in common from the first and the fourth term. So we get a bar plus a. a bar plus a is equal to 1. Now it is equal to bc plus a bar, sorry a b bar c plus a b c bar. So now taking b out of the first and third term, we get c plus a c bar. Using absorption theorem that will be equal to c plus a. Then multiplying b inside, we get bc plus a b plus a b bar c. Now taking a in common, it will be b plus b bar c. So, using absorption law, it is equal to BC. Multiplying everything, BC plus AB plus CAC. Next, we will see how to simplify this expression using Boolean theorem. A plus BC bar, the whole bar. BC bar. Using De Morgan's law, I can write it as B bar plus C bar. Now, again, I have to take complement for the overall expression. Right? So, that will be equal to A bar plus should be replaced with dot. B double bar dot C double bar, which is equal to b double bar equal to b, c double bar equal to c. So this is the simplified expression using boolean theorem. So this is how we can simplify any expression using boolean theorem. Thank you for watching this video.